Seven. With the introduction of the Oingo Boingo brothers in Stardust Crusaders, we get to see one of Part 3's more unique stands by the name of Toth. Toth is named after an Egyptian god who was considered to be the scribe of gods in Egyptian mythology. So it's only fitting that this stand comes in the form of a comic book. Now, this is not just any normal comic book, because it's actually filled with a bunch of blank pages at first. After a bit of time, colored pages will appear on their own, and whatever Toth decides to draw is bound by fate to happen in the future. So what I want to talk about today is when it shows Jotaro's head being split in half. Now, whatever Toth predicts will become reality, yes, but only technically. We see this happen multiple times in part 3. This means that when it shows Jotaro dying in the comic book, it's actually Oingo who is disguised as Jotaro when he gets himself blown up by the orange bomb. But the viewer or reader is tricked to believe that this is the final conclusion. At the time that Stardust Crusaders was made, this was probably the case. But sneaky little Araki decided to play with this idea two times in later parts. Once in part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable, and once in part 6, Stone Ocean. In Diamond is Unbreakable, during the time loop where Yoshikage Kira uses his ability Baitsa Dustu, we can see that in one of the time loops, Jotaro actually gets blown up. The way his face is split in half heavily resembles Toth's prediction in Stardust Crusaders. Now, Jotaro doesn't actually die here because it's just inside one of the many time loops. So yet again, the prediction is only technically true. If we hop on over to part 6, Stone Ocean. After Poochie finishes his evolution and acquires Made in Heaven, or Made in Heaven, he speeds up time at such a pace that the only mangaka to be able to finish his work on time is Rohan Kishiba. But it's also too fast for Jotaro to activate Star Platinum the world. This leaves him vulnerable to Pucci, who can basically do whatever he wants in his fight, as he has practically become some form of god that speeds up the universe at such a pace that weeks pass in mere seconds. Jotaro tries his best, but Made in Heaven is simply too fast. And in Jotaro's final attempt to kill Pucci, his head gets split in half by Pucci and Made in Heaven, just like Toth had predicted three parts earlier. Just by looking at this panel, the damage on his face is so similar that I think it's pretty safe to say that this was probably intentionally done by Araki. I think it's cool how he does a lot of throwbacks to older parts when he makes new ones. He also did something similar in the beginning of Jojolian, where Josuke goes into a hat shop and you can see Jotaro's hat there, along with Jairus Apelli and Johnny's hat and a couple of others. So what do you think? Was this intentional by Araki or just a coincidence? Personally, I think it's definitely intentional. I also hit over 4,000 subscribers in one month. What the fuck? I'm actually blown away by the amount of nice comments I've been getting too. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.